Hi, welcome back to Manohar Academy. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about object characteristics. In order to properly create and use objects, we need to understand these characteristics of the object. So object has three characteristics that is state, behavior and identity. It is very simple to understand these three. Okay, till now we have been creating one class called MyDate and we created three fields in that class that is year, month, day. And we have created only one method. There are other methods like two string getters and setters, but the the important method that we defined on this object is is leap year, so that we can know whether the date contained on the in this object is leap year or not. So whatever fields we have defined in that class, they can save some data for that particular object. So the data that is saved in those objects defines its state. We will see that more clearly in the next couple of slides but whatever fields we are defining they are going to define the state of the object because they are the ones which are saving the data in the object so whatever methods we can call on that particular object will define the behavior of that object so behavior is nothing but the methods that you can call on that object okay identity it is very simple to understand but you may be misled some at some places because you, you may be thinking about identity through the object reference there rather than object itself. Okay, coming to identity. If we have created five objects of my date, then we say there are five objects. We are counting each object and each object is different from other object. So whenever we talk about identity, we are talking about whether two objects are exactly we are same or not. We are not talking about its state, but its identity. So uh, the better way to understand this one is, for example, you have photographs from your childhood and you have your current photo photograph. So when you are looking at these photos, whenever you see yourself, even though you look different, uh, you look younger or older or whatever it is, but on in all those photos, you are looking at the same person. So the same identity. So identity is defined for an object based on where it is saved or the memory allocation that is given to that object okay so let's create one more class called student this student has first name last name and date of birth so we have constructor to set those three fields that is okay and i created one very far-fetched method called is eligible to vote <laughs> that's okay for our uh, our lesson now in this slide i am creating four students and for simplicity's sake i gave the same last name same date of birth they are differing only by first name the first student has first name of naga second student chandra third student manohar and the fourth student has the same name as student three that is manohar okay now let's see what is the state what is the behavior and what is the identity of these four objects so students one state is Naga Nelavilli 2012-0101. Student two state is Chandra Nelavilli 2012-0101. Student three state is Manohar Nelavilli 2012-0101. Student four has the same state as student three. So if I ask whether student three and student four has same state, we should say yes because they have the same state. Okay, coming to behavior, the methods that we can invoke on these objects is same. We can only call is eligible to vote, right? So all these four objects are behaving the same. So the behavior is generally same for all the instances of the same class. So if it is a different class, for example, I have one more object here called my date one and the values will be 2012-0101, behavior will be is leap year. So, Ob uh, objects of different class will have different behavior generally but objects of the same class will have the same behavior so coming to identity we, we clearly know that we have four students student one student three student three sorry student one student two student three and student four so we have four students even though the state is same for student three and student four they are still different so re to really appreciate this one for example in your class you have twins they have the same date of birth they have the same last name let's say for some exam for some reason they have the same first name also 
So even though they have same first name, same last name, same birthday, same color, same height, they look exactly same, still they are two different persons. When you are admitting them, you have to pay the fee for two different persons. They are two different persons and they will be married to different persons and they are different. So they have different identity, they have their own identity. So the conclusion is the objects with different ident identity can have the same state or the objects with same state can have different identity because identity comes from its own identity <laughs> okay so based on this point we can always compare two objects by either state or behavior so whenever we are comparing state we are comparing the values that are stored in the fields so here you can, we can see that whenever we are comparing the state we have to compare the values that are saved in those fields so whenever we are comparing the identity we basically check the memory address or where the object is created so we can compare objects either by state not behavior sorry i mean the slide has wrong content So we can compare two objects either by state or identity. I am just repeating because I made that change. The state, whenever we are comparing state, we are actually comparing the values that are saved in the fields. Whenever we are comparing identity, we are comparing the address or where the object is, whether they are exactly same objects or not. Okay. Next. Here we have one more class called purchase order. So for example, you went to some online shopping online um, shopping website and you purchase some items on so and so date. So all the items that you have purchased will be saved in this particular variable or the field. And whenever you have purchased that will be here and the, the particular order will be either placed. That means you just place that order. Then they will be processing that order then they will ship it after it is shipped on some day it will be delivered to you and in the process you can decide to cancel okay so these methods are not doing much except setting the status uh, but in real time whenever you are placing some order uh, the items will be saved in the database then someone will be notified to process the orders all those things but for simplicity let's say this is only setting the status here I am trying to tell you that the behavior of a particular object, for example, in this case, you are trying to cancel the order. The behavior can be influenced by the state of the object, whatever is saved in this particular object. So the behavior can be influenced by this particular state. In this case, in the case of purchase order or the order status, when you are trying to cancel order, if it is already shipped to you, they can't cancel that particular order. If it is already delivered to you, then there is no concept of cancelling the order. Right? Once they have shipped, it will be delivered to you. And once it is delivered, then you, if you don't want that particular object, if you don't want that particular ordered item, then you have to return it. Right? So if you try to cancel order, if the status is shipped or delivered, it says we can't cancel it. But if it is uh, either placed or the processing in the state of processing, then they can simply cancel the order. Okay. So the takeaway from this particular slide is the state of an object can influence its behavior. So these are the two things you need to understand. We can compare two objects by their state or their identity objects may have the same state but they can have different identities right i mean the other way of saying objects with two identities or two different objects can have the same state so you can compare them either by state or identity and the state of the object can influence its behavior these are the two points that you need to remember and that is all from this lesson once again, welcome back to Manohar Academy. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, if you are benefited from this video, then please share it with your friends so that they can watch, they can learn. Also, make sure you like this video. Thank you. Once again, welcome back to Manohar Academy. We'll see you in the next lesson.